Mr. Davies' Dose of Science. If this is your first time learning with us, welcome. If not, welcome back. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well and you're feeling healthy. Okay. So today in science, we're going to take a look at pulleys at work. Um, as far as some of the resources available to you, the first and foremost would be the Canvas website. After logging in, there are a few things that you have access to that I would like to point out. You just need to choose your block, and the resources for today would be the Levers and Pulleys Reader, the Pulleys Student Packet, hoping to do a video demonstration as well. So let's get started. We have a lot to do today. In your packet, you're going to want to um, check out your vocabulary words, fill in any blanks that you can, look at the illustrations and diagrams, and the section for your guided reading is right here. The work of pulleys in the reader that would be pages 23 through 25. The work of pulleys. <clears throat> pulleys are used to do many kinds of work. Small pulleys can be found inside cuckoo clocks and the engines of cars. Larger pulleys are used on cable cars and ski lifts. Block and tackle systems are often located at the ends of long poles called booms. Derricks and cranes use blocks and tackles. Derricks are used to drill for oil and in mining and construction. Movable cranes transport materials inside factories and warehouses. Tower cranes raise and move building materials into place. Overhead gantry cranes move heavy loads on and off ships and trains. Other cranes move logs, lumber, and farm equipment. Some heavy loads need to be moved in places that are hard to reach. A helicopter with a block and tackle can work like a fl flying tow truck in such places. A chain hoist uses a chain looped around three pulleys. Two of the pulleys in a chain hoist are fixed together and they are different sizes. When the two pulley system rotates once, more lengths of chain pass over the large pulley than over the smaller pulley. The load moves a small distance, then the chain is moved. But there is a gain in effort. Chain hoists usually lift engines from cars. A chain hoist can also lift an entire car. However, cars can be worked on more easily when they're pushed off the ground rather than pulled up. A hydraulic lift in a gas station allows the car to sit on a platform. This is safer and easier than hoisting the car into the air on pulleys. Today, hydraulic systems do much of the work previously done by pulley systems. Hydraulic systems are simple in design, have fewer moving parts, are smaller, and are easier to maintain. Hydraulic systems use fluid pressure to do work. Two fluid filled cylinders are connected to one another by a rigid hose. When pressure is applied to one cylinder, 
by pushing on its piston, pressure goes throughout the system. This pushes the piston out of the other cylinder. The second piston pushes and lifts and moves a load. Shiny silver cylinders can be seen on the arms of backhoes, under the scoops of earth movers, or lifting up cars for repair in garages. These are examples of hydraulic systems at work. Hydraulic systems are much more efficient for powerful pre precision lifting and pushing than the more traditional pulley systems. Don't forget to revisit your page for your guided reading and fill in the blanks as you can. If you need to go back or look at the reader on your own, you certainly may do that. At this point, I'm going to try and uh, take us downstairs for a demonstration in the garage. So bear with me. Hopefully we'll be right back. Okay. And welcome everyone to the downstairs garage in Mr. Davies' house. Uh, what we have here is more of a regular block and tackle that might be used in industry today. It has uh, nylon composite sheaves and more of a metal frame. Um, what I'd like to point out is distance here. While there is going to be a mechanical advantage, approximately one in four, um, the disadvantage is distance. So as you can see, I'm tying this bright pink string uh, right at the top here, and we'll see which one moves farther, the string or the bucket. What do you think, Seamus? Which one moved farther? Considerably farther. In fact, for me to get it to go the whole way to the ceiling, I've got to lift it quite a bit. There you go. I had to pull this much effort for the bucket to only travel this far. Hmm. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Until next time, this is Mr. Davies. Have a great day and keep on learning. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you think there is more you can learn, then click subscribe or consider coming back again tomorrow. The information, likenesses, and opinions in this video are the intellectual property of Mr. Mike Davies. While Mr. Davies does refer to other works owned by others, those resources are either parts of a public school district curriculum or they are readily available through open forums on the internet. Mr. Davies does offer his thanks and appreciation to any entity he has chosen to refer to or gather sound bites or clips from to emphasize his lessons. Mr. Davies is currently a professional member of the teaching staff for Central Dolphin School District in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and is making, producing, and publishing these videos for the benefit of his students and other students during the current lockdown crisis. Mr. Davies does not make claim to all of the ideas and resources referenced in his videos. However, he does claim responsibility and rights to his likeness, opinions, and the academic content of these videos. He does not grant permission for any entity to copy or duplicate any portion of this video or any of his videos for private or personal gain.